Hello, uh, I'm Alan Barone, President of the Highland Central School District Board of Education. Uh, we're here today to speak about our uh, capital project. With full support of the board, the board has adopted a $25 million capital project. Uh, the project will uh, touch on security and our infrastructure. And uh, as you can see, you know, behind me, here is an outdated electrical panel uh, that's probably back for the original the, the building, 1960. Those are some of the things that the district is looking to improve on. Uh, I ask you to uh, visit our website. We have uh, videos of all the infrastructure and, and the deficiencies that are out there right now and some of our security and safety concerns. Uh, we are also going to enhance technology and our athletic fields. Uh, if there's any concerns or questions that you might have, please feel uh, that you can contact the Board of Education. And also, like I mentioned earlier, visit our website because there are some interesting photos and videos concerning the project. Thank you. So right now we're in the high school computer lab. Um, this is a main classroom for many of our high school students. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit outdated in, with regard to the furniture placement. When you take computers and you just line them up against the wall, it's not really conducive to creativity or collaboration at all. So in Highland, we want to try to change the way the computer labs look, the way that kids are seated, and sometimes that costs you know, more money than we have in our normal regular budget to get that to happen. But the goal is to work with more cross-curricular content. So they just need different types of spaces, change the learning space. In the elementary school, there's not enough room in that room to add computers necessary to fit a classroom. So I think there's 26, 27 computers. We have classrooms that are bigger than that. So some children never get to do the work at the same pace as everybody else. So to actually change that space, we actually have to change the building, change the physical building of it. And that's why that's part of that, that building project. Other parts of the building project for technology, I think, are the auditorium, updating the auditorium. The auditorium in the high school is used many, many, many times just as a classroom. And if you don't have technology where a teacher can go in simply and turn on the computer and bring the projector, turn the projector on and bring the screen down, it makes it much more difficult. And they don't get to, they don't get to finish the lesson that they that they started out to do if they're messing with how to set up the internet and set everything else up. We have a lot of phone issues uh, just with the physical hardware of the phones being old. When we, a phone breaks in a classroom, NEC has to scour their closets literally to find a replacement phone for our classroom. So they're not even supporting the phones that exist. So as a result of our new infrastructure, we can actually do voice over IP phones now because our network is ready for it. Um, if that's what the public and the board decides to do, that's one option. That means the teacher now has phones coming to her computer, answer, uh, answer machines coming right to the computer. They don't have to worry if the phone gets knocked off the wall. You know, there's pieces of hardware that have to be installed in the rooms as well as that because it is a different phone system. But for safety reasons, I think it's essential. Hello, I'm Deborah Hamp, superintendent of the Highland Central School District and I'm here to speak to you about our building project. The district will be voting on a $25 million referendum on December 10th, and we hope all of you will turn out to vote. Why are we doing a building project at this time? We feel that this is an optimum time for the district to be proceeding with a building project. Interest rates are favorable, the bidding market is competitive, and the district's current debt will be retiring over the next several years. That will allow us to do the work that's much needed. The district's um, building aid ratio is approximately 67 percent. This means that about 13 million dollars of the project cost will be returned to the district in state aid. What does that mean to you as a taxpayer? If you have the enhanced star exemption, we are estimating that the impact is 17 cents per thousand of assessed value. If you have the basic star exemption, that cost would be approximately 40 cents per thousand. If you have no exemption, the estimated cost for you would be 60 cents per thousand. Approaching this work through a capital project is the most cost-effective way for the district to get the work done. 
If we do not do this work through a capital project, it would be 100% um, paid for by the district in one year. On the other hand, by doing it through a capital project, we are able to spread the cost out over 15 years and again receive that building aid um, from the state that will offset the cost. The Highland community will be voting on this referendum on December 10th. The polls are open from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. Please remember to vote and please remember to become as informed as possible about what this referendum will mean for our school district. Thank you.